Good morning children. There is a famous saying, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. It means that whenever we continue doing any task for a long period of time, we get bored of it. It can also have bad effect on our mental and physical well-being. Taking a break and doing any activity which makes us happy is a perfect way to rejuvenate or refresh our mind. Like in your school, you all have games classes, music classes, art and craft classes in between your main subjects. So that is to give you a break from the monotony. So children, today we are going to read and understand this interesting chapter, chapter number 3, Fun Time. In this chapter, we will understand importance of playing games, outdoor, indoor and traditional games, importance of having a hobby and types of hobbies. So children, let's start the chapter. We all need to relax and refresh ourselves regularly. Best way is to do activities that makes us happy. For children, there is nothing better than playing games. Playing games not only gives us more time to spend with our friends, but also to relax. So children, we all need a break from our daily routine. So the best way to relax and refresh our mind is to engage in some kind of activities which makes us happy like playing games or whatever makes you happy. So these activities keeps our mind and body happy and healthy. Let's move on. Games. Playing games keeps our bodies and mind healthy and active. We have fun when we go out in a park or a playground to play. The games that you play outside home are called outdoor games. Such games include basketball, tennis, badminton, football, cricket and so on. For most of the outdoor games, you require friends and teams. They are played in large areas. Now children, here you can see pictures. A child is playing football, a child is playing badminton, cricket, basketball. Now children, can you play these games inside your house? No. So that is why these games are called as outdoor games. Because for playing such games, we need large area and we generally need a team. So that is why such games are called as outdoor games. Let's move on. Certain games like hide and seek, hopscotch or stapu, seven stones or pitu etc. are also outdoor games. Sometimes it is not possible to go out and play. Then games like Ludo, Scrabble, Carom, Snake and Ladder and so on can be a great fun. These games are called indoor games. Thus, the games that you play inside home are called indoor games. So children, sometimes due to the weather conditions or some other reason, like these days pandemic is going on, schools are off, so it is not possible to step out of the house. So during such time, we play indoor games. We play inside our houses. So children, those games which you can play inside your home with your siblings, with your parents or with your friends, those games are called as indoor games like Snake and Ladder, Scrabble, Ludo. So these are indoor games. Physical activity is important for the growth of the body. It is very important to maintain a balance between outdoor games and indoor games. So children, outdoor games, they provide lots of physical exercise to the body. So it is very important to step out of the house and play proper games. But children, sometimes due to the weather conditions, it is not possible to go out. So at that time, you can stay home and you can play such games like Ludo, Carom, Scrabble. Other than these indoor games, which other games you like to play at home with your siblings? Please let me know in the comment box. There are some games that are specific to a region or a country. They are played generation after generation. They are called traditional games. Some of the Indian traditional games are kite flying, camel race, lattu, gilly danda and so on. Children, there are some games which are very specific to region. In a particular part of the country, uh, such games are played. So such games are called as traditional games like kite flying generally in Punjab belt, Gujarat belt, kite flying is very famous. 
so it is a kind of traditional game to this particular region similarly in your region which games are played in your hometown which games are played mention them in the comment box so that we all know about it let's move on hobbies we also have fun when we engage ourselves in some hobbies some children like to do creative art like painting sketching sculpture origami embroidery clay modeling and so on some people like dancing singing playing musical instruments acting and so on these are called performing arts so children other than playing games indoor and outdoor we can also engage ourselves in hobbies now you'll ask me what are hobbies children hobby is an activity that is done regularly in one's leisure or you can say free time for pleasure for example when i am free i like to do gardening and painting so these are the two activities which i like to do in my free time so there are some children who like to do creative things like sketching painting clay modeling etc while there are some children who like to dance sing act and play instruments these are called as performing arts children all these activities can be taken up as hobbies some people turn their hobbies into their profession like sachin tendulkar he used to love playing cricket and finally he became a cricketer mf husain he was a painter since childhood and he became an artist when he grew up and he took painting as a profession lata mangeshkar used to sing when she was a child and then she became a great singer similarly sanjeev kapoor you all know he is a renowned chef so these are the people who have turned their hobbies into their profession so we must play outdoor games we should also take up some activity that helps us to relax and have fun so children in this chapter we have understood the importance of playing indoor games outdoor games and developing a good hobby whatever we like to do in our free time so children let's move on to the exercises question number a fill in the blanks using correct options now here for each question three options are being provided we have to tick the correct option and write the same in the blank which is provided football is an dash game outdoor game indoor game or traditional game we all know football is an outdoor game second games make our body and mind dash so games make our body and mind unhealthy healthy none we know that games make our body and mind healthy third chess is an dash game so chess is an outdoor game indoor game or traditional game we all know that chess is an indoor game it is played inside home fourth gardening is a relaxing dash game hobby or none gardening is not a game children gardening is a relaxing hobby question number b list the games and activities that you do with whom do you play or do these activities first one is done for you so here first one the game is cricket and with whom you play friends so similarly other games or activities you will write in the column which is being provided and then you will write with whom you play such games or activities so this is a work which you have to do by yourself question number c answer the following questions question number 1 why should we play we all know why should we play so the answer is we should play because playing keeps our body and mind healthy and active question number 2 what is the difference between outdoor and indoor games children we know this answer outdoor games are the games that we play outside our home and indoor games are the games which we play inside our home and then you can write some examples for the second difference like the example of outdoor games are football basketball cricket tennis etc for indoor games the examples of indoor games are ludo carrom snake and ladder scrabble etc next is hots question why do games have rules discuss answer all sports have rules to ensure that all participants play correctly safely and fairly so to play a fair game 
we must have rules in a games next is life skill suppose your friend has fractured his or her leg which games or activities do you think you can play or do together why so children because your friend has fractured his or her leg so that is why you cannot play any game which requires the movement of legs but instead you can play all kind of indoor games with your friend like ludo scrabble and there are many other games which you like to play so children in this way the explanation question and answer and book exercises are done in case you have any query or doubt regarding the understanding of any particular concept do write your query in the comment box i'll try to answer it as soon as possible children i want to know my students so those who are watching this video just write your name in the comment box along with your favorite game all the best children